What's up guys, Daryl Linnington here from techitout.co.za and I'm at SEBA 2017 with Huawei Technologies, KUKA and 5G technology. So I've got Dr. Lee in front of me who's going to be introducing me to 5G powered robotics. So can you tell me what's happening here? What What is this exactly? So basically here this is the two robot robots from KUKA and uh, they communicate with 5G technologies. 5G is a new technology, will be available 2020, or it can be later, can be earlier, it depends on the applications. So Huawei is a leading company and uh, developing new technologies, but now our strategy is to also develop, to research application scenarios at the day zero, so that means in parallel, technology and technology application scenarios together with industries. So that's why it is called Industrial 5G Initiatives. And here is only one of the uh, cooperation we are doing with KUKA. Okay, so what exactly can this do? Obviously we've got an electronic drum kit here. How does the 5G technology work? in conjunction with the drum kits? Okay, basically one robot is master, the another one is slave. Basically slave get one instruction from master and execute, get another instruction and uh, execute. So in this way they cooperate, driving together. And this communication between the slave, master, is through 5G wireless technologies. How would this benefit companies? How would companies use this technology? We call this kind of cooperation now proof of concept. So basically we want to understand whether this technology at all useful can be apply it into any industries. For example, here it is smart manufacturing, smart automation. In this area, there are some mission critical requirements for communication. Number one, clock, time clock, synchronization. All the robotics you know, in a factory can be hundreds, can be thousands. They must synchronize with each other. This is a critical, mission critical requirement. Number two is the low, ec extremely low delay. I give you an instruction, you execute. But if you execute it tomorrow, next day, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, exactly. For example here, the smart manufacturing automation, the low latency requirement is less than one millisecond. So this is a secondary requirement. Of course, there are other you know, features which 5G is willing to, is designed to provide, like extremely uh, bright, broad coverage uh, range or extremely high density of the coverage. For example, one cell, one 5G cell can coverage 600,000 connections, people or things. And that's, this, yeah. that's insane. Yeah, these are the things, and this is this feature is not completely uh, con uh, proof of concept. Uh, let's say checked. This example only two things, uh, three things: clock for synchronization, e extremely low delay, less than one millisecond, and the high availability. High availability means I talk to you, you listen, you tell me you listen, you execute. Otherwise, you cannot rely on any anyone, also not robotics. Perfect, thank you very much, Dr. Lee. So there we have it, we have 5G technology combined with robotics, Huawei, KUKA, and it's here at CBIT 17. I'm excited about robotics. I'm, I'm, I'm amped to see what's exactly on the show floor at CBIT 2017. But Huawei's definitely got my robotics bug right now. Thank you very much, Dr. Lee, for your time. Have a great day. My pleasure. Thank you.